paaltje. Gaan we eerst gamen in de Rialto. Nog trommet. Ik ben een dunje. Kalik akker. Hoe ik schiet je? Abel Kalik akker. Wat? Abel Kalik akker. I don't speak Gaelic. You don't speak Gaelic. Do you want to learn? I would, you know, if I had the time, yeah, I would. I bet Gaelic, I can. That's do you speak Gaelic? No. <laughs> Are you interested in learning Gaelic? Maybe. Maybe. What does that mean? My wife's a homeschool teacher, so if you're going to okay. teach, I'd rather bring her and all the kids here, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> teach well, all of well, us. Well, I wouldn't be the Gaelic teacher, um, but I just wanted to refer you to my Gaelic teacher, the guy who used to live in Scotland and teach. Uh, Scottish Gaelic, and he's got an online course, which is the one I've been taking. Oh, okay. Do you, do you want to learn how to say a Gaelic phrase? Absolutely. Okay. Would you rather learn how to say good morning or thank you? Thank you. Tak believe. Tak believe. Tak believe. Tak believe. So it's more of a uh, tak believe. Tak believe. Yes. What do you know? Sanja. Great. Cheers. Cheers. Sanja. Exactly. So what's the difference? Because you just said Sanja, and I've heard both of those. So Sanja and Sanja. It's the same thing. It's just Sanja is just short. Buda Navas is the other one, right? So you were you were speaking Iowa? Would you say it? I would probably say Buda Navas. Buda. Bud in the bus. Yeah, we've been saying Bud in the bus. Yeah, the DH at the end is is usually not a D sound. Our, our yeah, granddaughter is Ailey. Yeah. Oh, Ailey with a DH? Yeah, and yeah. she's gonna. Yeah. She's had it pronounced so many times. Oh, I bet. You don't forget it. Okay. Well, I am learning Gaelic, and I'm trying to find out how many people here are also interested in learning Gaelic. I would say probably a lot of them, uh -huh. but the Outlander thing coming out and them trying to do the words. And I know that even in Scotland, it's only like five, ten percent of the folks in Scotland. I think it's I think it's more like less than two percent. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's not very many. And that's why I'm trying to learn it because I want to make sure it doesn't die out. So I am here with Amanda, and I found another Gaelic speaker at the Highland Games. And we're both learning on Duolingo. So what got you interested in learning Gaelic? Um, so knowing that this was the uh, native tongue of my ancestors from Highland Scotland, um, I just thought it would be a great homage to be able to speak it. Um, so uh, obviously opportunities to uh, speak it with other people are limited, but um, there are lots of online resources, and um, so I have found some outlets uh, for it. And there's actually a society in North Carolina that I'm hoping now, um, post pandemic, that I'll be able to join and maybe uh, meet some other Gaelic speakers. Do you have a favorite word in Gaelic? A favorite word in Gaelic. Oh wow, I gotta think about that. What's your favorite Gaelic word? So I really like the word, I mean there's there's a lot, it's hard to pick, but I really like the word Tarninish. Tarninish. Thunder. Thunder, okay. As opposed to, is it Jelenob, which is uh, lightning? Yes. The best way I can answer that is I am trying to learn Gaelic. Oh great! You got a you got a textbook here. Yes, okay. I, I am. I, I only started about three weeks ago, so I have a very limited vocabulary. Okay. All right. I think that's what you were asking. Yes, I was asking if you had any Gaelic. So curious, what got you interested in wanting to learn Gaelic? So uh, this this whole thing. This whole thing. This okay. whole thing. Right. Only started a couple of years ago. So I knew we had Scottish roots. I never really looked into that. I started looking into that, and then I started to embrace that. Mm -hmm. Walk myself a kilt. You know, I, I, I told my my brothers this, and one of them came back with uh, slanchama. Yeah, slanchama. Yeah, and uh, and I, I had no idea what to do with that. <laughs> so, so that said, you know, I said, well, you know, maybe I should go with that. And maybe uh -huh. I should look into some more. So I, I started with the game. Yeah. Great, and so. You've just been using this book. Have you been using anything else? Yeah, Duolingo. Duolingo. We haven't really got too far into that book. Yeah. Can I look at it? Yeah, okay. by all means. I think it would be so hard to learn from a book because the pronunciation is so different from the spelling. Yes. Pronunciation is. So I, I also started with Duolingo, but that's why I recommend that course so much because you're getting to hear it from somebody who's actually fluent. Right. Now I'm not 
super advanced yet, but if you have any questions, like off the top of your head, I can try to answer for you. Copily. Yeah, copily. Uh, there's a couple of different ways. Even yeah. Duolingo has a couple yeah. of different mm -hmm. ways. Uh, one with the L-E-A-T mm -hmm. and the other with the L-E-I-B-A. Right. When is, which one is why you're not... So, one is formal and one is informal. Okay. So if you are, so for example, with you, I would say top to leave because you're my elder. So to show respect, I would use a formal one. Okay. Or if you're speaking to a group, you would use top to leave okay. because it is formal, so it's also plural in that way. But if you're speaking to someone who is your age or younger, you can use the informal one, which is top to leave. So that's the difference. All right. Outstanding. Yeah. So, I'm glad I can answer that question. I don't know if I can answer every question. That's great to meet you. Yeah. That's good to meet you. That's good to meet you. I got the admission. I bet it's Gaelic. Neither one of us speaks Gaelic. Speak a, yeah, that's what the question is. Do you speak in Gaelic? Are you interested in learning Gaelic either? Absolutely. A little, yeah. I'm very interested in learning Gaelic. So, why, why are you interested? Well, I like. History, I like languages. Mm -hmm. I like studying languages. So That's what are what some of the other languages you know a little bit of? Very little Latin, very little Spanish. I know just enough Spanish to get somebody to the hospital because I'm a full time paramedic. Okay, That's important. So, <laughs> but a uh, tiny, tiny bit of Russian and a tiny bit of Greek. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. The best thing I learned from Greek uh, from childhood, you know, I found a bunch of uh, Greek restaurants, is the word bufus, which I didn't realize was going to be a dummy my whole entire life until I got home. <laughs> I guess in Gaelic, something you could say similar to that would be like, not be goda. Don't be stupid, don't be silly. Don't be stupid, right? Yeah. Not be goda. I need to remember that for myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My son's not old enough to understand that yet, but I'm going to definitely use it on him too. I don't speak Scottish. I don't Gaelic Very little. Ah, a beacon Gaelic A little bit. I'm learning. You're learning? Okay. So why why are you learning Gaelic? Uh, because my And when he gets upset, he starts going off, I want to know what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> he actually was in the black one. Oh, okay. And okay. Was from Normandy and got wow. wounded. So okay. he moved to the United States and joined the U.S. Air Force and retired from the U.S. Air Force. Oh, okay. So he did both. So okay. that's how he ended up here. Oh, okay. So we lived, he lived just outside of Tongue in Scotland. But you have memories of him speaking yes. in Gallup? Yes. Yes. Very much so. Okay. Yep. Is there any reason why uh, you, you think like he didn't teach his children, or did he try? Do you, do you, do you know? Honestly, I just don't think none of them were interested. Okay. You know, we're in America now, so. Yeah. But you're interested. I'm very interested. I was actually brought home to the hospital. So I'm, yeah. I've lived this life. Okay. You know, and now that I've taken over his reins, I want to kind of step it up. Mm. See what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it took shit. I'm a molester. Oh, you just breathed. I don't speak Gaelic. Well, I got, you've got, oh, yeah, you've yeah, got yeah, it on yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. So I can tell you all about the Gaelic language. I can't speak it. Can't speak it. Okay. Are you interested in learning it? Um, I that would be that would be definitely on the list of things I would love to do. You should. You should like proclaim. Someday. Let me see if I can. Come now. This is weird. So I'm on phone. Oh. Would you call it the Irkanyu bird? You can call. Where is it? Where is it? I got the hashtag. I said, nice to meet you, I'm Carl. I got the I'm Carl. Yeah. And uh, what is it? My name is... What? It's Misha. It's Misha. It's Misha. So, it's Misha Owen. So when somebody comes up and they talk to you and they say, what is Gaelic? What do you, what do you kind of tell them? What do you do? Um, so, um, you know, it's the Celtic language. Um, and at this point in history, the work on my 1740s, really concentrated in the northern part of Scotland above the Highlands. Uh, and so we talked more about the fact that at this point in history, Scotland is really two distinct cultures. So you've got lowland Scots that are religiously, politically more in line with the rest of the British Isles. And then you've got this northern um, Highland part, which is Gaelic speaking, that is more culturally similar to Ireland. And so 
we talk about the fact that most Scottish Highlanders, they only spoke Gaelic. Um, there's only a handful of people in the community that really speak English or Scots. And then we talk about you know differences between oh, yeah. Highland yeah. and Lowland yeah. culture. Okay. Yeah, that's a really great interview. There you have it. There are a few people at the Highland Games who actually had a little bit of Gaelic. I have to say that is very encouraging because the last time I went to a Highland game, which was 10 or 15 years ago, not only did I not have any Gaelic, but I bet a lot fewer people would have had any Gaelic or even been interested in learning Gaelic. Now, if you want to move beyond Duolingo or, you know, just being able to say your name or how are you and you actually want to learn how to speak Gaelic conversationally, then please join me in learning Gaelic with Jason Bond's course, Gaelic Foundations. He's got a beginner's course and an intermediate course, and it is worth every penny. And you get a link for that down in the description below. Marcin Leave.